like this example here, Hilain Mobibi. This is our second to the last example, hopefully. Uh, consider a uniform rod of length L and mass M that is pivoted without friction about an axis to its midpoint and is perpendicular to the rod. The lower end of the rod is attached to a horizontal mass as a spring, a force constant K, while the other left is free, left um well, the other end is left freely hanging. Find the period for small oscillations of the rod if it is displaced by an angle, by a very small angle theta from the vertical. So obviously, since my spring dito, dapat kita to, since my spring dito, what happens is um, the, the rod will oscillate back and forth. So para magro-rotate ng ganyan, ganyan, ganyan niya. Magro-rotate niya, magro-rotate, pero um, back and forth yung magiging motion niya. It will be periodic. And uh, for small values of theta, what will happen or what will be the period of small oscillation? So yung kailangan, kailangan natin gawin. Okay, so I'll just show the solution in this, in this problem. Okay, so um, again, we have this system. Let me redraw it. Redraw ko lang muna ulit. So again, I have a rod. Okay, I have a rod. Ah, di maganda yung rod ko. Oh, masalo hindi maganda. Yung kapal naman yung rod na yun. Yan. Magpasensya nyo na, hindi ako engineer. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pwede na yan. Okay. And then after that, you have a wall. Tapos, tapos meron akong, let's say the center of mass of this um of this uh rod here is at this point. And then I can create a vertical line here. But before we create a vertical line, let me first connect a spring on that rod. Hindi siya nakakonect. Ah. Sandali. Ayan. Kita? Gets? Kita? Ayan. So after that, let me uh, let me give um, some theta here. Okay. Let us say that the total length of the rod is L. Therefore, what is this length here? Ang importante lang sa atin itong length na to. Ano yung length na yan? Ano lang yan? L over 2. Yes, it's L over 2. Correct. So this should be L over 2. Tama. Ngayon, so... Again, ang sinasabi sa tips na binigay sa atin, mag-set up ng equation of motion. So, uh, ngayon, umiikot lang naman yung system, hindi natin translate. Therefore, hindi natin pwedeng gamitin si Newton's second law per se, si accelerations. Ang pwede natin gamitin though is we can use our Newton's second law for rotation. So, using Newton's second law for rotation, We have what? What are the only torques acting on the system? Siyempre, merong normal force sa ina-exert yung pivot, pero wala naman yung effect kasi hindi naman mag-exert ang torque yan kasi nasa center of mass nga yan nag-act. So, ganun kailangan yan. Ang kailangan lang natin, therefore, is the force exerted by the spring. So, let me redraw it such that, uh, so, i-redraw ko, this is, the, this is the length of the, I should say the one half length of the of the rod. Tapos meron na kong force sa ina exert dito. Di pa natin ina specify yung force by the way. So let's say this is some force F here. At tapos this is some L over two. Okay. Yan. Tapos ito, theta. Okay. Now, so the torque exerted by the force by the spring force F is equal to what? Again, F muna natin ilalagay yung, yung spring force. So, gawin natin isipin kung ano yung form yan. So, tau F muna yan. So, ano yan? Again, this is theta. What I can do is to extend this. Nagkahanap lang ako ng torque. Tapos, alam ko ito ay 90 minus theta. Tapos, alam ko ito ay 90 plus theta. Tama? 90 degrees minus theta to. Kasi, pwede mong isipin na perpendicular yan. Kasi, pansin mo, perpendicular to. Okay, so yan. So may theta ko dito, may 90 minus theta ko dito. And therefore, the angle phi or the angle between the lever arm and the force is 90 plus theta. So uh, which gives us this idea that the torque exerted by the spring force is simply what? Uh, ano lang to? So I have uh, an L over 2, R, R cross F into the taper. So L over 2 um, uh, minus L over 2. So F sine of 90 degree, 90 plus theta, which is equal to minus L over 2 F cosine theta. Tama? Tama? Tama ba? Yes. Tama, di ba? Now, uh, remember, okay, we will be assuming, instead of what I usually do na assume that the direction of the angular acceleration is positive, ang gawin natin yung conventional na ginagawa. That is, the direction of the angular 
the direction that is into the paper is negative, out of the paper is positive. So, uh, ang mangyari dito, kung papansin mo, if this um, force here is pag ganitong direction ng force, what will happen is the object will rotate in, um, um, the object will rotate, uh, okay, the object will rotate, um, uh, the object will rotate in this direction. So, what happens is I have an I alpha here. This gives us I times minus alpha equals minus L over 2 F cosine theta. And hence, di pa natin, again, in specify yung force. So, F pa lang yan for the meantime. Para hindi tayo malito. And therefore, I alpha equals L over 2 F cosine theta. Now, what is the nature of the force? Again, this is spring force. And the spring force is equal to what? But F equals ano yan? Ano lang yan? Remember, hooks lo yan. Uh, assume natin na hook yan yung, yung spring. And therefore, this is equal to negative Kx. Where x is the displacement, or I should say linear displacement of the spring from its equilibrium position. So, so ngayon, yung x, pag um, nag-displace ang konti yan, let me redraw it again. So, may ganyan ka. Kung nag-displace ang konti yan, let's say this is x. This x now here is related to L over 2 and theta. Diba? Tama? Tama? Yes. Kapuha? Yes? So, this is equal to... Um, therefore, if this is x here, then ano yung x in terms of theta? Ano lang yan? Ito yun, no? Theta, x... Opposite. So, therefore, ano yan? Cosine. Ano yan? Cosine ba? O sine? Yan lang naman yun. Either cosine or sine lang yan. Opposite. Hindi adjacent. Sine. 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 Yes. That, there should be K. Um, L over 2 sine theta. And sir, bakit mo kailangan pang ilipat to theta? Kasi remember, this alpha here is related to theta. And ayaw mo na may alpha dyan at may x dyan. <laughs> Kasi yung isa linear quantity, yung isa angular quantity. Ayaw mo nun. Ayaw mo mangyari yun. Okay. And from there, you get something like an I alpha. Substituting this expression here to this equation here, I have an I alpha equals L over 2 times minus K L over 2 cosine theta times, I'm sorry, sine theta times cosine theta. And hence, I have an I alpha equals L squared over 4 and then, labas ko yung k. Minus k, L squared over 4, sine theta, cosine theta. Tama? Tama? Tama ba? Yes, sir. But what is i? But, note that, i is equal to what? Ano yan? It's the moment of inertia about the center of mass, which is 1 over 12 m L squared. Thus, we have a 1 over 12 m L squared d squared theta dt squared because the angular acceleration is the second time derivative of the angular displacement is equal to minus k L squared over 4 sine theta cosine theta. Tama? Tama? Yes. Kuha? Gets? Nakukuha? Sana, sana gets nyo. The L squared will cancel. The 1, 12, and 4 will cancel at magkakaroon ka ng 1 third dito. Ang gagawin ko, um, tap, ang gagawin ko, i-isolate ko yung d squared theta dt squared. So isolating theta double dot. Uh, again, the notation dot means uh, time derivative. We see that d squared theta dt squared equals minus k over m. Ah, I should say minus 3k over m. Tama? Kasi when I multiply this by 3, you multiply both sides by 3. So you have at minus 3k over m sine theta, cosine theta. Tama? Tama? Yes. Now, is this correct? Now, but sinin mo, medyo malapit na dun sa gusto nating form. Kaya nga lang, panira tong sine theta, cosine theta na to. Panira yan. Ayaw mo nang ganyan. ba? Ang gusto mong form is um, x double dot equals minus omega squared x. So, hindi dapat minus omega squared sine x. Ayaw mo nang. So, anong gagawin natin? Anong gagawin natin? Paano mawawala yung sine theta ko sine theta na yan? Diba? Yes, mag assume tayo na small oscillations. And in fact, it's given in the problem. What is the period for small angle theta? So, for small oscillations,
sine theta is approximately theta. Imply and co what about cosine theta? So it's approximately equal. Lang. Ano ang cosine ng 1? Ay, sorry, cosine ng, ng 90 degrees. Ay, so, cosine ng 0, sorry. Ano ang cosine ng 0? 1. <laughs> ba? Ah, well, technically, it's a quadratic expression, but we only need to consider the first or the zero term, which is 1. So, for small angles, if theta is much less than 1, sine theta is approximately theta, cosine theta is approximately 1. And therefore, we get an expression that looks like this. d squared theta, dt squared is minus 3k over m theta. Ito na ngayon yung gusto nating makuha. Kamukha na siya nung no? ito. Kamukha na siya nung no? this one. Magkamukha na sila. And though, angular yung displacement natin. Hence, from here, alam natin na yung term na to, this, this um, variables here, will correspond to the square of the angular frequency. And therefore, what is our angular frequency therefore? What is our angular frequency? Ano nga yung angular frequency natin? This is just square root of 3k over m. And hence, the period of small oscillations is what? Ano lang yan? Ano lang yan? Ano lang yan? So again, omega t equals, um, di ba, um, f equals to 2 pi over omega. Pero yung f natin is 1 over t. So, uh, ay, sorry, 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 omega over 2 pi. Sorry, sorry po. Omega over 2 pi yan. And therefore, f is 1 over t, which is equal to 2 pi over omega. And then this t is equal to 2 pi square root of m over 3k. This is the final period of small oscillations for this particular rigid body. Nakuha? Nakuha? Yes, sir. Wait lang. Tama, tama. Tama yan. Okay? Questions? May tanong ba? May tanong? Wala? Okay. Sige. Okay. 